jeez. Wow. What kind of, I don't know what kind of sound the vile witches I'm making, but it is vile. Uh, the the world stone keep can be, can be huge, uh, as I've mentioned, but uh, I don't think there are very many levels to it. I think there are three or four levels. It's not the largest one out there, in ter you know, compared to uh, let's say. Uh, and Ariel's keep was pretty big. Uh, the countess's uh, countess's tower was pretty big, but this one, you know, just it's just wide, really. It's not really deep, I guess you could say. So we need to to try to clear out as much of this as we can. And here is how you know when you've reached either a dead end or the way down. Uh, you'll see a giant pit with a uh, Lord of the Rings bridge ar around the middle. And this is the way uh, down. Now, don't hang out here too long. Uh, these things will attack you. Let's like look at my inventory to, so that I can show you that. Uh, I don't need to... Yeah, I'm on better stuff than that. No? You're not going to do anything for me? Fine, then. I I'll have to show that off some other time. They pretty much attack you with like a with a light a red lightning type attack, and it does damage you. Uh, not nearly as bad as Diablo's did, but it still does damage you. So don't don't stand around near those things too long. Maybe uh, maybe it's just in the the lower levels that that happens, but. I have, I've learned that the, the hard way damn near every time that I've come here. And I go, oh, damn it, that's right. That's right. This thing's attack. Mm, nothing great. Nothing that great. You guys are disappointing me with drops and kind of lack of specials right now, actually. You guys haven't really been giving me any champions or, or uniques or anything like that. And uh, die. There we go. I did see a post the other day about Diablo 2, and they're like, "Hey, you guys should check out my mods for the game. I've increased drop rates." And I'm like, "Isn't how is that not cheating?" And they're like, <laughs> and everybody was responding to the post like, "How can I transfer this onto Battle.net?" And they're like, "You can't. You'll be booted for cheating." <laughs> that one. That one made me laugh. I, that was like, seriously. You, they increase drop rates of, you know, like, gold items and yellow items and green items. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I've never been one for, for modding the game to make it easier or even harder. I don't like anything that changes uh, game mechanics, to be honest with you. If you want to change textures or add to the game, that's one thing. You know, instead of... Like, oh, remember this? Well, now it's this. Okay, it, it looks different, it sounds different, uh, but as soon as you start doing things like it plays different, that's when I start thinking maybe I should get that. For instance, uh, in Morrowind, uh, I had to actually download uh, one of the, the, the mods that can include in the pack uh, that I got was um, actually the basic setup for for how people modify the combat system so that you can bust out combos and all this kind of stuff in the game and I always look at it and go that's that's not how the game's supposed to be played though and they're like I know but still isn't that awesome now the game plays well and I'm like I shouldn't have to modify it for it to be good according to you you know if the game's not good stand alone you you know you shouldn't really be spending all your time trying to modify it to make it Good. All right, second level of the World Stone Keep. There is a waypoint down here, and like I said, I think there are only three levels to it uh, before we get to uh, to Bell's Throne. But there could be four. There could be four, and there are no. Uh, there are usually no. Uh, what do you call it? Overlords, whatever, overseers. The, the whippers, there are no lashers, none of those guys around here, but there are uh, berserked um, hellspawn, I guess they're called now. Frenzied hellspawn, apparently. Now they're no longer berserked. They are frenzied. That's completely different, apparently. Why they would change the name like that? 
don't know. But it doesn't really matter either way. Did I just pick up boots? No, you can go. You guys can go die in a fire. You, there's nothing good on you. Uh oh. Uh, that is Bale's laugh. That's usually the laugh that he does when uh, when he starts attacking. Oh, here's the waypoint. Okay, let's use that and go back to town. That's usually the uh, the left that he does when he uses the the red uh, stones. And, you and have proven yourself to these people. They look to you as their warrior, their champion. I forgot. Now everybody wants to talk to me again. Uh, he that's the laugh he usually does when he uh, hits you with the lightning attack from those red stones. Uh, do you have something to say as well? Besting the ancients in battle is a mighty feat indeed. I hope this means you're ready to battle Bale. Uh, I think I am, actually. Uh, I, I kick their ass pretty handily. What's up? I knew the ancients would find you worthy of Mount Ariad's secrets. Now, stop Bale before he destroys all that is sacred. Uh, if you're talking about your stuff, I'm pretty sure it's too late for that. Let me buy, uh, let me buy from you. Because I do need one of these. Yes, yeah, so that can go there. Sweet. Okay. And I'm sure Larzak has something to say as well. I'll go talk to Anya as well. She probably has some words of advice for me. The ancients have honored you, and in turn, so do we. I have no remaining doubts about you now. You still had doubts about me? Damn you, Larzak. I am the man. Can't you see? Uh, combat skills. Really? Uh, they start giving out some good items, but not all of it is good for me, unfortunately. How are these pikes? Man, stolen. Okay. Do I have... Uh, no, I don't have any topazes. Any chip topazes, at least. You guys can go back in there. Oh, Al Hazir is not poisoned anymore. I forgot he was poisoned for so long. All right, what's up? You stand before me, a worthy hero, and on you rests the last hope of our people. Bear it well, warrior. I don't know. Something about her voice seems so seductive to me. I I don't know why that is. Uh, nothing good. Gauntlets, you know, good upgrade, but not for me. Uh, oh damn, 160 defense. How much are these? Oh, shit. 218 fire resist, 227 cold resist. How much are you on? You're on 133 with lightning resist. Ugh. But no, he's got a whole bunch of stuff on there. That makes it good, unfortunately. Alright, so I'll probably be making one more run back to town. That's at least what I assume. If I can't find any nightmare level equipment that's really good that I can socket, uh, then then I'll have to find something else to socket, which shouldn't be that big of a problem. It's gonna, like I said, it's probably going to be my war scepter, which I already have personalized anyway. And I can put some, uh, some of my highest runes and that kind of stuff on there. And... Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> like I said, those guys are ridiculously easy to avoid. They stop before they explode. Just keep running. And this is the part that I always imagine dodging them. <laughs> when when they're when you're on the the plateau and all that kind of stuff, it's a little bit harder to avoid them because other things are stopping you. But when you're here and they're running by themselves, they they are the worst suicide bombers ever. They just don't know where they're going, but they're gonna blow it up r no matter what. See, so just see that time I even ran past him, and he couldn't. D he couldn't damage me. The hell! What the hell? All right, so that's uh, probably about one half of it down. Why I attacked him, I don't know. That's uh, one half of this level down. This is not nearly as bad as it was for me the first time I went through here. The this is actually quite small, but. About half still, still about half. Go, blessed hand, destroy everything in your path. Yes, give me more experience, sure. I will always take more experience. 
Uh, hopefully I can get another level up by th before the end of this. It, it'll be close though. Ah, I got stopped there. Ah, stopped again. Well, that really matters. It's, oh, snap. I think that's the way down. So let's go this way. Uh, I'll, I'll be able to heal before I get down there. And it looks like that's actually it here. Is that it? This... This could either be really good or really bad. Uh, but before I fight Bale, there is, like I said, a lot of fighting that I need to do beforehand. Will Stone keep level 3? No! Okay, it looks like there are three full levels and then, uh... And then a fourth mini level. Damn it, I thought we were done with the... with the demons! Why? Why must the game... Why must the game troll me so? Uh... And and ver and no the the skeleton things the un the the, the revivable skeletons. Oh come on! Yeah, I hit him. Uh, poison damage is not doing that great for me. I don't know how much how much poison damage am I doing? Oh, six damage over three seconds, and then that's it. Yeah. Okay. No wonder. I'm like the. I was I was thinking that I had a lot more, a lot more on poison damage. Oh, what am I doing? That was the worst possible spot for that. How did those miss? How did those miss? There he is. Get over here and die. Hate you, damn demons. These things, yeah, they are possibly more annoying than the Diablo one mages at the end of the uh, at the end of the game because at least the the mages at the end of Diablo 1 posed a threat to me you know what I mean they had a chance of actually killing me these guys they're doing like five damage to me at a time is what it looks like it, it doesn't look like they're doing much of anything but they still just run away constantly all right let's head up here then yeah, these are not nearly as bad as I was thinking they were going to be. Remember, the world stone keep being a lot, a lot longer than this. Okay. So, we got quite a few... Quite a few places to go, still. Even if we finish this place off, we've, we've got, well, Vale's throne room, and that's... That's a... That's a, that's a hassle in and of itself, to be honest with you, going through there. But it doesn't look like there's much more to do here. There's there's not that much else. This is this is kind of weird how small this is. I remember it being so much bigger. Was that like a halberd over there? Yeah, crude halberd. Okay. And not quite the the end here, but like I said we're getting very close. Where'd Al Hazir go? Alright, Al Hazir. Come on, pop out for me. He's like right there. Yes. Now he wants to show up. Now that he can't attack him. All right. So it's going on like a little bit further down here. So it's not as small as I thought, but it's still, this is still pretty damn small. Remember, Woldstone keep being huge, ridiculously huge. But it looks like we're going to be able to finish the game today, which is honestly not what I was expecting. But I am very happy to see that. And then after that, we can do this, the bonus dungeon, and then I can take like a week off from from these videos, I'll, because these have been taking up a lot of my time. As you might expect, busting up. What, like, uh, probably about like 10, 12 videos this week? <laughs> At the end of it, is, is what I'm going to have to assume it was, and then, uh... Hopefully you guys are pumped. Uh, I am actually downloading uh, Diablo 2 right now as we speak. Uh, I can't actually, or sorry, not Diablo 2, Diablo 3 as we speak. I can't actually play it once it's finished downloading, but then as soon as it releases on the 15th, I will be able to, to log into Battle.net and start playing. All right, to the throne of destruction. Kill Bale's minions. And this is going to be a long fight. This is, uh, I like this. 
how this is set up. It's kind of, uh, uh, we'll get there, but uh, first we need to take on everything. These are not Bale's minions that they are talking about. These are just enemies that are in the dungeon. Hopefully there are none of the, uh, there are none of the, the revivable skeletons around here, uh, because I might have to run like a little bitch, and I don't want them stopping me from doing that. How's the Great Helm? Ethereal cannot be repaired, but it has two. Still never get, yeah, never got that other rune. I was looking for a soul rune, but I got the dole instead, so fortunately I can't do anything with that, not even give it to Al Hazir, which is what I was considering when I saw it was ethereal. But yeah, never did get that rune. Of course, there are plenty of rooms that I did not get in this run through because they're just too high of a level for you to get in normal difficulty. Uh, there are pretty much four corners here that I'm going for. I'm going to avoid the middle on the top here. Um, these guys aren't usually too bad. I might need to heal a couple times, uh, but hopefully I don't need to, and I can just let uh, I can just let prayer heal me up. I do have regen on as well. Yeah, it goes in spurts. What the hell? Why does it go in spurts? It's supposed to be constant. And there's nothing over here anyway? Okay. So, like I said, I'm going to avoid the top middle here. Because uh, that's where the... Uh, that's where the throne is. Uh, serpent skin armor! We have not seen that before. It is uh, the upgrade leather armor. Uh, not the hard leather armor, just the regular leather armor. Uh, but this one isn't even that great. Alright, what's on the Grand Charm? One to two more fire damage and faster run walk. I've never been that big of a fan of faster run walk because, well, it doesn't do that much for you. I mean, of course, it makes you run a little bit faster, but it's not something that is necessary in battle, I wouldn't think. It would have been probably pretty useful for this uh, for this let's play, but it wasn't worth sacrificing uh, not being able to kill enemies as quickly as I've been able to, if that makes sense. Who cares how quickly I can go from one enemy to another if uh, if it takes me you know forever to kill them once I get there? How good's the ring? Yeah, not that great. Not that great. So we need to head up here. This is the last side before we go down the middle. And then I'm going to go back to town. Just make sure I can do everything that I can. Yeah, they didn't have they didn't have anything particularly good here uh, for me to socket. So uh, let's just make sure that we're clear here. Yes, we are clear. Oh no. We got Stygian Furies, just just to annoy me, hanging out right here, hanging out in the middle. Let's take on at least some of them, at least some, and then yeah, sure, a greater healing potion. All right, and then that should be that should be it before. Uh, well, the next part, uh, we are yeah still not gonna fight. Uh, not gonna fight Bale immediately, but as you can see, that's our quest, so it's no longer a yes. spoiler for me to say that we're gonna be fighting Bale. Uh, yes, I, I still need to socket some things. Uh, you can be sold. And then, let's see. Add sockets. Oh god. Um, I swear, I don't think. I don't think. But if I put it on there, it'll get rid of all the magic. Please don't get rid of all the magic. I swear it doesn't do that. I swear it doesn't do that. It didn't do it! And it only gave me one fucking socket! Oh, God, okay. So, based on what I have here, because this is pretty much going to be end game stuff for me, let's put this back in, uh, so I can use that to fight Bale. Uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, for me, 1 to 4 40 lightning damage isn't going to be that great. 100 poison damage over 7 seconds, not that great either, surprisingly. 15 to 20 fire damage, no. 6 to 10 cold damage, hell no. Plus damage to undead, no. Plus 100 attack rating, no. 4% life stolen per hit, 3% mana stolen per hit. 
possibly. No, no, no. If I said no to this, it makes you say I'm, think I'm going to say yes to that. Plus two to man after each kill. Also a good choice. No. Hit causes monster to flee. Hell no. Uh, <laughs> damage versus undead. No. Uh, minus defense. No. Cold damage. No. 1 to 50 landing damage. Which leaves me with just one option here. The perfect skull. In you go. Uh, so I'm going to get uh, plus mana after each kill, 3% mana stolen per hit, 4% life stolen per hit. Uh, we should be good. Uh, if you get a perfect emerald, ruby, topaz, sapphire, diamond, and amethyst, and combine it with an amulet, it gets what's known as a rainbow amulet. No, prismatic amulet. Prismatic amulet. This is this is rainbow. Rainbow gives you all resistances plus eleven percent, around eleven percent. Uh, this, the the prismatic gives you uh, plus sixteen to plus twenty, plus another uh, another random magic on there. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to get one uh, in this run through uh, before the end here, but. We still have a little bit of a shot of just doing that, just not very good because, well, they do drop stuff and then, well, you'll see, you'll see. Let's go back in. I'm kind of nervous about this. This is this is this is a long drawn out fight. Oh, he has enemies here! I always forget that. I always forget that. Why did I forget that? Oh, a ring! Nice. And as you can see, as soon as you stand in here, uh, you get, um, where is he? There he is. There's the portal behind him. As soon as you stand within his presence, he pretty much, uh, pretty much calls you from the beginning. And he's, and he has sent, wow, I, I like wiped him out. Uh, he sent Warped Ones, apparently, and a Warped one Shaman. He's, he's pretty much going to give you one from a, a set of enemies from every act that you've gone through so far. Now, unfortunately, I don't have time right now to go look at the ring. Because he's going to summon more enemies. Oh, fuck. Unravelers! Down they go. Okay, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Let's use one of those. You can always buy more. And actually, here's one to replenish it. Uh, yeah, they don't you they this is sometimes a really good area for for level grinding. Unfortunately, these guys aren't really dropping anything that great. Al Hazir, don't die, don't die Al Hazir. No! Al Hazir. He didn't make it. He didn't make it. Ugh. How did I miss them all that those many times? Alright. Let's use another one of these. Okay, uh, and I'm gonna go back to town to get Al Hazir back. I'm still colded. Jeez. All right, let's talk to Mala then, and then I can buy more. Good afternoon. More of these. Well, I got one of those. All right, and more heal potions. Like I said, I might have to run like a little girl, and there I did. Mostly because Al Hazir died because of all the guardian spells, but still. What is it? Still. He doesn't cost that much money to get bring back. I got plenty. I got plenty. How how is did I not I went all the way over there and skipped Deckard Kane. What the hell is my problem? Hello. Endgame kind of does this to me sometimes. How good is this? Plus eighty six to attack rain, plus five to strength, plus forty six to mana. And poison length reduced by twenty five percent. It's gonna beat that out. It's it's it, it beats that out. It's it's not exactly perfect for me, but it beats out uh, the, the magic, additional magic. Of course, there's only there's only one more real important enemy left. So uh, for me, so bonus to uh, bonus to getting magic items isn't that important anymore. But if you're going to continue on with your character, uh, which I suggest you do, it's a lot of fun. Uh, keep going with the same character, then you're going to want to keep, uh, you know, whatever whatever you got that's similar. Come on, Al-Hazir, don't die again. Alright, what, what has he got this time? It's going to be hell. Something from hell. Venom Lords, of course it's fucking Venom Lords. 
the one thing that ever killed me. I will get my revenge though, Venom Lords, and down you go. No problem. How was that, Venom Lords? Was that good for you? It was good for me. I have a barbed club that I picked up somewhere along the line. I'll take it. And now we've got minions of destruction. These are tough as hell. As you can see, they've already taken out Al Hazir. I hate these things. I hate these things. I hate these things. These are the first times that you are going to be seen. Oh my god. Like I said, run like a little girl. Why am I not doing more damage to them? No, 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 don't trap me, don't trap me. And they have a knockback, which is annoying. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're going back to town. No, back in there. Sweet. I made it. Okay. I'm good. Kind of. Uh, wow. That was, that was tough. Okay. Time to revive Al Hazir again. Those minions, those minions, man, those minions. All right, let's fill this back up. And one more of these. I'm gonna lose money doing this. I, you know, I don't care though. I got plenty of money. Yes, I'm not warrior. buying anything else. Uh, but oh, I do need to talk to Deckard Kane as well. While but I don't. Yeah, like I said, I don't care about losing money. I'm. Uh, Afternoon. I'm not bringing it with me. If you guys are, maybe you want to handle things a little bit different. But this this is fine for me. As long as I don't die. As long as I don't die. Unfortunately, I set up that portal right where they are. Right where they are. So let's go. And Al Hazir's not gonna make it. We got one though. We got one. We got one. He got one. But I helped. I definitely helped. Juked! How's that feel? How's that feel? Alright. Alright, and I got the special one. And I got to level up and down go the rest. Okay. Nice. Let's give me more vitality on the level up. And one more to concentration. Give me the class orb. Super healing potion. And the other ones didn't even drop anything. Of course they didn't drop anything. So, it's back to town uh, before we go back. Yeah, I got plenty still. I got plenty. You know what, screw it. I don't want to walk all the way to Decker King anymore. I'll just identify that and sell that. And then hopefully... Your service. Yeah, it sells for max. Nice. I'll be more than enough to repair and uh, get Al Hazir back. Still have more than three quarters of a million. I'm still good. I'm still good. I'm still good. 